Hey guys, in this video we will be installing a docker engine on an Ubuntu server which is running on Proxmox. If you need help with getting Ubuntu running on Proxmox, there's a link down below in the description where I have a video showing how to do it. And to get started with the Docker installation, just go to your Ubuntu server and select console in Proxmox and log in with your Ubuntu credentials to get to the command line. Then we can see in the Docker um, Docker web page, there's a guide for installing Docker engine on Ubuntu. It's explaining some prerequisites and the OS recommendation is to use the LTS version of Ubuntu or you could use the latest Ubuntu as well. And here we see that there are several installation methods. You could use the Docker desktop, but we went with the Ubuntu server, which is um, command line based. So we are not using that approach, but instead using the install using the apt repository approach. So here there's a, some commands which you can use. And let's just copy these commands over and go to the Proxmox console. Okay, it seems I had some copy paste problems to the Proxmox console window via no VNC. So um just went ahead and opened up Putty and connected via SSH to Proxmox. I mean the Ubuntu server which is on Proxmox. So yeah, let's go ahead and try to copy paste again into the window here and let's run this and it's executing the commands and it's finished so let's do the next step so install the docker packages so here we have a command for that let's copy it again into command line and yes to continue That took a few seconds and now it's done. So let's go to the third step. Verify that the installation is successful by running hello world image. Let's copy that command again and go to putty and paste it in here. It was unable to find the image, so that's why it started downloading it. And after it downloaded, it printed out hello from Docker. This message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. Personally, I also like graphical user interfaces, so let's go ahead and install Portainer. That's a really nice way of managing Docker containers with a user interface. So we will get something like this here. The community edition of Portainer has installation instructions here, so I'll leave a link down below in the description, but let's do the installation quickly. So here we have the deployment instructions. Let's copy the first command to create a Docker volume. So let's go into command line and create that. And we need to add sudo in front of the command. Now we have that volume created. And the next command is to run container. Um, we'll download the container and run it. So let's again go to putty and add sudo in front and add the command. And let's run it. It was not able to find the image locally so it's downloading the image first and now it should be started. Following the guide we can see that the default address for logging in is on localhost 9443 but since we are not running it on localhost. We can use on the we can use if config on the Ubuntu machine to check the IP. And here we can see the IP it's 192.168.0.108. Let's copy that. And entering that in the browser with the port 9443 will give a security risk. And this is because it's a self-signed certificate, so just hit advanced 
and accept risk and continue. Or you could view the certificate and you will see the signing information for the certificate. But when you click accept risk and continue, you will get into the port chainer view and the default uh, username would be admin and you can create here the password. And as you can see, it's also enforcing a 12 character long password. We can select create user and we are in the environment now. And we can select proceed using the local environment which the port trainer is running in. And here we can see that we have two containers running. So we have the port trainer image running here and the hello world image which we installed during the installation process. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.